Hello, this is Mary Bennett, and our goal is to become familiar with apparent wind. And as you know, wind is the fuel for a sailboat, and it's important to be able to control the use of the wind and the importance of the apparent wind. And also, if you're feeling overpowered by the wind or overwhelmed in your boat, that you can depower your vessel and slow it down by easing out the sheets or heading closer to the wind. So to become familiar with the wind, consider yourself standing on a pier and feeling a breeze blowing onto your face. And what you're sensing when you stand on that pier is the true wind. And reminder that the wind direction name is always given in relation to where the wind is blowing from. So a north wind is blowing from north to south. So the wind would be from the north. And then wind of motion would be the wind being created by the vehicle as you move, such as in a car or a bicycle or a boat, the wind of motion. So the apparent wind, the definition is a combination of the two. The combination of the true wind and the wind of motion equals our apparent wind. So the apparent wind is easy to calculate when it is from a stern because you'll notice here that when you're running or it's from a stern, you take your true wind and your boat velocity and your apparent wind and calculate it all together and that's the running wind speed. So from a stern, you calculate all the wind together. And typically though, to calculate apparent wind, we'd use vector diagrams, but you know, you really won't need to do that. You just need to be aware that in practice, on your boat, that your apparent wind is observed and experienced on your boat and used in your instruments. So your boat carries a wind vane, and it points to the apparent wind, not the true wind. And your boat would have an anemometer, which will measure the apparent wind strength, not the true wind strength. And you also will be noticing that you will have the apparent wind implications as you trim your sails. So when we're looking along here at this diagram, you'll notice the shift of the apparent wind and how the boat is shifting in the sail angle, point of sail, and also the trim of the sail. Because it is the apparent wind that you steer and trim your sails to, and sailors who don't consider the distinction between true and apparent wind can get an unpleasant surprise after sailing with the wind for some time and then suddenly head their boat into a breeze and to find out that the apparent wind heading downwind could be quite a blustery or different than the wind they were accustomed to. So being aware of the parent wind and calculation and recognize that when you are sailing on a run that you would add together the apparent wind and boat speed to get your true wind makes it a little bit different than calculating our vector angles. So we'll be going through some examples in our onshore class and also when you're sailing with your skipper to just have you more aware of what you're feeling. Are you feeling the true wind? But that we're trimming our sails to the apparent wind speed. And when we talk about wind speed and calculation, our boat motion, we will be talking about knots typically nine miles per hour. So it depends on if you're using a GPS and that's calculating in miles per hour, if you're calculating in your boat instruments in knots. So more on this topic to come, but we will continue to study and think about apparent wind and that we are trimming our sails to the vector angle of the apparent wind. More to come on this topic, more to think about, but it's something that you definitely have to have an awareness of. It's something that you'll want to follow up on and stay tuned to hearing more about as you're listening, following, reading the instruments, that you have to have an awareness of where the wind is coming from, is the conversation about the true wind, the apparent wind, and how is that an implication in the boat's velocity, and are we talking about knots, or are we talking about miles per hour? So definitely more to come in this conversation. We look forward to uh, helping out and hope to see you on the water. water.